what's up my people how on a day waiting they happen waiting the sub welcome back to our channel okay guys remember I reported earlier today that um Ada jesus has given up the ghost um she's dead um it's everywhere the news is everywhere it came as a shock to everyone nobody expected it we thought that she was getting well and that everything is going fine and all of a sudden we got the sad report that Ada jesus um, is dead quite a sad news now there's a lot of reactions after that of course you know anything that involves odumeje um usually gets that social media attention now we're still going to come to that we're going to talk about um rita in a minute but first what i want to say is someone actually you know reacted um to that um this guy um, activist Harrison, who was part of those people who went to celebrate um, Ada Jesus' birthday with her. Now, two days after her birthday, she died. And um, so this guy, this activist who was part of those people who supported Ada Jesus, said that Ada Jesus had been suffering this for a long time. I remember in the video, in the previous video, because I want you guys to understand this thing right i want you guys to understand um the whole thing now i said in the video that ada jesus has been battling this for like a year or more right before it even got on social media she's been battling this this illness and who who does that the body has been suffering condoning all those pains for a long time Come on, what do you expect? What do you expect? We're talking about kidney failure here. And you've been, you know, battling this for a long time. You didn't treat it. it there was no transplants. There was nothing. Uh, maybe she was using some kind of herbs or something. I don't know. Anyways, guys, this guy said that, well, Ada Jesus, the death has nothing to do with spiritual. That it was as a result of medical um failure or something guys let us watch um his reaction say that this girl did not die to spiritual man she died um to medical failure and, and, and every other thing but nothing like spiritual happened to her she has been sick for a very long time and the doctors confirmed it that this girl she has been sick she has been down for a very long time you cannot publish a medical report but the truth is she has been down for a very long time and at this point please we just do it, touch people. We just do it, touch people, and let's try to live in love. And we try our best. Thank you for your prayers. Um, now, let us talk about Rita Edoche. Now, Rita Edoche is currently being dragged on social media. Now, the quote that says, um, you know, the mouth is like a sword. And that is why you should watch what you say, or whatever you say is like a is like an egg you know when it drops on the ground you can't pick it up and that is what i think is haunting rita edoche even though rita edoche came back on social media to say look i have forgiven this girl now that the girl is dead people are referring to the video you know they're starting to talk about that particular video where she said that ada jesus will never get out of it that jesus will never get out of the ailment so people are now saying we're gonna read the comments because she's trending on social media and people are talking about this and she said other jesus will never get out of this people are saying we need to get this woman arrested we need to question this woman they need to talk to you know what do you guys think i just want you guys to let me know what you think about that now I didn't even recall that she said this particular thing that's the funny thing but the internet never never forgets after she said those words it stick and now it's haunting her uh, people are calling her out even after she she has publicly said that she's forgiving Ada jesus what this girl said if you get her from this sickness 
Then a man of Roman I may say, In God, you may jay beach. In case of the DJ, if you get out from this sickness, a man of Roman I may say, You have to get those people. You must get those people that I told you to bring and you brought them. When you bring them, you get up. That's all. But if you don't bring them, you will go from there. Then others will let She's trending on social media. Let's read some comments. Rita Edochi would wish she never made this statement. Life is short. Ada Jesus is gone. Wow. Ada Jesus, if you get up from this sickness, no, it's not me. Rita Edochi. Finally, Ada Jesus didn't get up from the sickness. She has passed away. Next one. Rita Edochi. Ada Jesus, if you get up from the sickness, you will know it's not me that did it. Ada Jesus is dead now. Who knows what the battle is in Nollywood and the Nigerian entertainment industry at large? I think it's high time Udumeje um, will perform miracle by raising Ada Jesus from death. Fake generation prophecy. If you ever refer to this fool as a man of God, may thunder strike okay that's too much Ada Jesus is dead ha how are her family denied her proper medical attention and instead carried her from one place to another in search of miracles baffles me someone suffered from stroke and needed proper medical attention but they had to worsen it either Ada Jesus died of spiritual attack or illness the question is what does it take to forgive people what Odumeji and Rita Edoche and others who cannot forgive easily. How do you ask God for forgiveness? We are our problem. Odumeji, which of this power, which of the power did you use on Ada Jesus? We thought you have healed her after all the drama with Rita Edoche. Rest in peace, Ada Jesus. That's why I saw the power the liar used. In the boskeeper who said, his power. Le Badu Sipre Lamande is power. Abido Sheka is power. Dadu's Kapaj is power. Le Fase Fare is power. Ganduka Gandusa is power. Those powers, I have never touched them. I never used them. I am still in Indabuski Pahus. Okay, guys. Now put your comment down below. In the next video, okay, whatever I'm going to discuss. I'm going to ensure that, you know, I read out your comments. I'm going to try and remember because I forget a lot. You know, there's a lot in my head. But I'll try and remember to read out your some of the comments. So, take your time. Pull down, you know, your comments. I feel like my viewers also deserve this. You know, I need to read out your comments. So, pour out your mind so we can read it out to everybody what you think about it. I'm going to put that out in the next video. Thank you, guys. Um... I'm always happy, you know, <laughs> always happy with my, my viewers, like my subscribers, original people. Okay, guys, moving on to the next one. Here we have Sandra Ewa. I uh, reported earlier to Sandra Ewa, um, will be Franklin's baby mama, you know, called him out recently. Uh, himself and the alleged girlfriend, US girlfriend. And she didn't stop there. She kept going. And that is why Ubi Franklin came out on social media to rant because it's becoming to him is becoming disgusting that's what i think right so she says that they are not four baby mamas that they are even five she said should i go deeper she continued lies are being told when i have been minding my business maybe when i break everywhere they will finally leave me alone and that is when it would be franklin went you know online and started ranting furious because i think what was running through his mind was if i don't show this lady the other side of me or if i keep mute this lady will keep going on yes sandra you are will keep going on she's been like that right from the beginning you know she will keep going on and on and on so after she made that revelation now that is when ubi franklin said okay that is it i'm done i need to show this woman pepper i need to speak up and that is affecting ubi franklin's relationship with other people now i'm not talking about like intimacy or anything just normal friendship um thing is affecting him 
also um even even with his friends he actually explains something here about a, a lady who he met in real life and he later realized that this lady uh is a troll who doesn't like him because of her attitude you know the the vibe that he got from her when they met now he looked up this lady and realized that this is one of those people that abuse me every time on social media guys now i quickly want to say this before we watch the video <laughs> we'll be frankly never see anything though he he, he he don't they shout he never see anything when you have like four different baby mamas my dear now wahala you don't start for yourself who. but on a more serious note he made some valid points there still that does not remove the fact that this is just the beginning of the wahala she be now one baby mama still they torment you <laughs> one baby mama still they torment you where you they shout uh, you never see anything you never see nada Guys, let's watch this video. I don't have time for all this bullshit. If you want to talk to me, if you think you are a man, if you think you are a man or you are a woman, see me on the street and, and say what you want to see me say to me on social media. If you think you are a man or a woman, see the fact that we are quiet eh, and we are posting as um, uh, listen, we can all go mad. See me on such on the street and call me. And tell, and tell me you are this. If you think you have power, see me on the street. Don't, don't just go and comment on, on accusations on social media. See me on the street and talk to me. Three, days, three weeks ago, I went, I went to have um, dinner. I was in Abuja. I went to have dinner at the Booker restaurant. I walked in. I saw a friend with a lady. I said hi to the, the, the friend. The lady was very, very uncomfortable. So something tricked me. I said, oh, 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 hold on, hold on, hold on. I called my friend. I said, hey, come. Bro, who is this girl? He told me. I said, what's her Instagram handle? She gave me. This girl has been constantly abusing me on social media. I don't know her. I said, is she your girlfriend? He said, ah, Baba, you know now. And I said, you know what? One zero. Why did I say one zero? Because she likes to come on social media to abuse me, saying I'm this, calling me different names, saying I'm, I cannot control myself, different things she's been saying. But guess what? She's with a guy that is married. A married man. That's what she was with. Who she was with. And then you come on social media to, to type about me. How does that make sense? Many girls today are crashing as many marriages as possible because they are dating married men. And then you come on social media, you come on social media and chat, chat about me. Are you stupid? Look at my sisters are calling me because they don't want me to do this. But listen, I have to freaking do this. Is getting annoying. This is getting insane. I've tried to solve these situations in private, but this lady keeps bringing me on social media every time. What the fuck? What have I done? What have I done? Let's be honest. What have I done? What the hell is going on? People are committing abortion every day. People are doing other things, fraud and all of that. And then you are here talking about me? Nobody should call my phone, please. This is getting very annoying. I've tried, this is, this is, it, it's disturbing my emotion, my, my, uh, my psyche. What the fuck is this? Moving on to the next one. This is quite a uh, sad news. Even Chaka Chaka, the legendary, uh, the legendary Yvonne Chaka Chaka, um, is not dead. She's still alive, the South African singer. She's still alive. But guess what? Trolls create a GoFundMe page. This is a, another level of troll. She people they complain about troll for Nigeria. This is another level. She, the troll created a GoFundMe page for Ivan Chaka Chaka's barrier. You know when you know sent person make you do something and he still go ahead saying good drama get could not hit. Now Ivan Chaka Chaka came on social media, Twitter to be precise, reacted to the um, to the news. 
she said some fool posted my obituary and even asked people to contribute in a go for me account for my barrier how mean can you be guys she continued so to the devil i am alive and kicking i'm going nowhere thank you all for the love and support don't fund evil he asked for some go fund me we need to find this devil according to Yvonne chaka chaka she says she has reported to the um security agents because somebody asked her report the matter to the security agent and she replied i am busy with it my child let me know what you think about that in the comment section below congratulations to this nigerian woman as she gives birth to triplets triplets after 11 years of marriage and six miscarriages this happened in asaba delta state congratulations to them who this is not it's not easy bro a friend um has said on social media after 11 years of marriage six different miscarriages god bless her with triplets what a wonderful god he is awesome moving on to the next one here we have the digital obanji <laughs> she said that her husband is a god during an interview with bbc uh, she said her husband is a god and her religion she, that she worships her husband okay let's watch this video I know they serve any dates. I know get any juju I keep anywhere. I know they worship anything. In fact, the only person where they worship for this life is my husband. The only other person where I say, okay, if you ask me, if you even come and insist, say no, I must be worshiping something. I must have a religion. I go, someone, my husband be my religion. You know, that's an enemy they worship. And they, they work for me. Let me give you your medicine. <laughs> <laughs> you good? Yeah. My name is Angela Ngosu. Now maybe the one and only digital Obanji and the queen of positivity. As a spiritualist, who I be and the digital of and they help people connect back to their roots. You know, this earth, will, this universe, we get many powerful things where people don't know. It gets more things where if you use like this, we ordinary time where they use cook. If you if you read up on the spiritual components of time, your head go blue. A lot of small, small things where you suppose help people solve their spiritual problem, but you get many misconceptions. You know, a lot of things people will tell you say if you make love with something where they sweet for real life, if you do one for dream, you get spiritual husband or you get spiritual wife. And then people will come they find way to connect that thing, that their dream to every bad thing where they happen to them. Person whether they do one for dreams, still get accidents. Person whether they eat for dreams, still die. When people come out, call me fake, call me scam, say I they collect people's destiny. They make me laugh because they contradict. So how are they use collect people's destiny if I be fake? I perceive when they do feel actually collect destiny. For this life, eh, as I did now, if I know get people will hate me. I know I know I know I know normal at all. It's supposed to be you get people supposed to love you genuinely. You get people supposed to hate you deeply. Now for Christian family, they bomb me. So we use and grow because in this life, at that time, why small, I realize, say, for this country, well, they need to be Christian or be Muslim. Or if not, you know, be anything. You understand? So now that anything, why? Now that middle, that place where you know, be anything. Now that one, I did. I don't belong to it. I don't believe in religion. I actually believe in human beings more than religion. I believe in treating people. I believe in you and I. Treating people the way I want them to treat me. People, they always misunderstand the blue eye what they said and they say I did and charm men. But I go still there and now some say, no be waiting my blue eye they do. My blue eye no go charm men. The anything good, no fit they attach to negativity. Getting man will love you, na good thing. You know, they understand. Love is supposed to be natural. If you add juju, if you add anything, if you wear something, like if it's not this blue eye you wear, it gets you that man. Where you the control. Now, nah, you no go last. You no go walk. The thing the blue eye feel do for you, be say, if it make you get good luck, good luck will go attract good man to you. How I take me to my wife, and they go normal Facebook, as people they do their normal Facebook, they go, they enjoy for Facebook. The first day, I see somebody really talk, saying, sex, do this, sex, do that. I stop, I look at me again, I say, in this generation, now somebody get this kind of mind, get this kind of God. I have to go deeper. I look at him, look at him, I don't say, no, be bad person with this. And if they talk with him, people, they fear to talk. And the kind of person why I be, I, I already don't believe, say, the kind of person why I go marry for this life, the person will go get God. And funny enough, I can't go Facebook, go through Facebook, can't see somebody will be exactly like that. And just like that, it'd be like madness. Now, so it peaked. When I meet my wife, after we begin day together, friends come, family come, everybody they talk. Within them they talk. How if they say, man like you, it can't be this scared, we they talk all this kind of thing for, for Facebook. Now you see, I can't tell them, say, waiting you want and waiting I want, how it will be the same thing? <laughs> waiting I want, now the person will be talking that thing. Person will they come out, show you as she be. I like them. The backlash from friends and family, no, they easy, but in the end, now the same friends and family, they, they got show over us, they talk saying a beautiful couple, a beautiful this, a beautiful that.
Everything with my wife, they do, I support them. And you get why I support them. I support them because you know they do anything bad. I support them because those things which they do now attract me. I support them because now she be the only most important person, person for my life. I don't care about what in society they talk. I don't care about what in uh, friends they talk. I they call my husband my God. So besides, they call him God, like I generalize him for. I they say that my own God. Because this is why I don't notice. I'm not sure say this is what I don't notice for where my husband is. I'm not sure say any man for this life will be like him. All right, guys, that is it. Now, let's move straight to the next one. Here we have, I just quickly want to let you guys know that there's news flying around, even though Laura Cage's husband have publicly kind of or subtly passed a message that he, he might be into shipping, okay? I don't know. He might be into some sort of shipping, but he has subtly passed a message that he's not picking from dustbin. You know, by saying, by showing us his kids, like he was actually with his kids, you know, in that area, doing something that looks like he's about to ship something. He even said in a caption, "Shipping time. Thanks, kids, for helping, Daddy. God bless you." People still insist that this guy is picking from dustbin uh, because there was a lady who came out in March. It started. This started in March, right? that this man actually goes to the dustbin to pick toys for his kids right and Laura Keiji had, uh, before that time you know came out on social media to say that you know her, her husband got the kids you know toys and um toys and stuff like that so they said this is where he gets them from and again you remember the report about Laura Keiji saying that um this guy gave her 20 million naira there's just been this rumor on social media that this guy is not wealthy this guy is not this guy is struggling and laura cage is just the one exaggerating the whole thing and stressing the man he might be into some kind of cargo business and not picking up from you know beans as rumored you know that's what i think and people still saying it even though this guy like i said posted this picture there was a blogger that came on social media saying that you know like there was already pictures on social media about uh, showing this man picking um dust going to the dustbin to pick a gift or toys for the kids i don't think that is true um i'm just here to let you guys know that if you see that um i don't believe it okay guys moving on to the next news here we have kiss daniel now people are saying that Kiss Daniel, or people think Kiss Daniel is not doing enough to help his own career. They said his music has gone down, like as talented as he is. The music is, the, or the career is struggling currently, and they don't know why. Do you have the same thought? Let me know in the comment section below, because this guy is about to drop another song. Okay, he's working on a new song, and that is what brought about the comment about him um, and his career. I like that. Let's move straight to the next one. Here we have the Ghanaian socialite or uh, actress, Rosamund Brown. She's been granted bail after thousands thousands of people signed petition asking for her to be released and they finally did and accra high court has granted her eighty thousand Ghanaian cities bail on wednesday well they won congratulations to her but initially uh the jail term was i think three months and sh she got out now which is amazing moving on to the next news here we have ricardo banks during a question and answer session on his page he revealed that his girlfriend stabbed his cook for cooking for him he said the girlfriend is a jealous type after a fan says she loves him and she he made it clear that his girlfriend is the crazy type he said he's the jealous type he's kind of proud of it but he needs to be careful <laughs> he needs to be careful he says here yeah, i love you too but what about my girl can you get rid of her she stabbed my cook for cooking for me now i can either only eat her or whatever she cooks okay oh. if you happen no come social media sha. 
I pray nothing like that happens. Moving on to the next news. Here is a man that breaks a bottle on a head of a policeman for trying to impound his car. Guys, is this fair? Here we have a big fish. They call it a sea creature. Me, I call him I call him big fish. <laughs> of course, it's Africa. They are going to kill the fish, share it, and that is it. Even though they say he worth one million dollars, they don't care. It's the hunger in town. Nobody, nobody wants to wait. But this thing is huge. What is this, guys? What is this? Wow! Is this a whale? I think this is a whale. I'm, I'm serious. I'm just checking out the video right now. Like this, this looks like a, a big whale or a baby whale, or or is he a shark? Guys, let me know in the comment section below. I'm confused. <laughs> Moving on to the next news, here we have photos of lions in OAU and UIZU. The lions are looking hungry. I refuse to believe. In a, hey, in a zoo, is it lack of money? If you, if you guys can't take care of the lion, sell it now or take the lion somewhere else. Some kind of place that can take care of these lions. Why are they suffering the lions? <laughs> or the lions did something and they want to punish them? I don't understand. The next news here, thousands of Chadians seen crossing over through the border of Cameroon, which is just 40 kilometers away from Nigeria's border. Can you imagine? These people are coming to Nigeria. They will come to Nigeria now and be claiming that they are Aousas. Hey, God Almighty. Even the country itself is going through a lot. Now, if these people spread out in Nigeria, ah, yeah, yeah, the softness is not going to be here, my people. Leave your thoughts in the comment section below. Thank you so much, guys, for watching. Don't forget to like this video. Um, subscribe um, if you're yet to do that. Until we see you next time. Peace.